Today we have got a beautiful keto bread recipe for you. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Mel and welcome back to my kitchen. If you are new, however, please do consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you know when we've posted a new recipe. It'll really help my channel and it'll only take you a second. When I first saw this bread by Kita Con Laura, I was so attracted by it and I thought, I have to show you guys. When you tap it, it's got the sound that bread used to make in the old days. It's crunchy on the outside and soft in the inside. It tastes like wholemeal bread or brown bread. As always, the ingredients and nutritional information is listed in the description box. Let's get into the recipe now. First, we're going to prepare the yeast mixture. So to a jug or container, I've got 120 grams of warm water. Then we're going to add a teaspoon or four grams of honey. Then one sachet or six grams of instant dry yeast. We're just going to combine the ingredients and then we're going to let this rest for about 10 minutes. Do note we are adding honey so that the yeast can ferment well. It's going to feed off all those sugars in the honey and you won't ingest it. While the yeast is fermenting, we're going to prepare the dry ingredients. To a bowl, add 35 grams of almond flour and then 25 grams of ground chia seeds and I just ran mine through a Nutribullet. Then we're going to add 100 grams of vital wheat gluten and a quarter teaspoon of xanthan gum. Now you're going to fully combine your dry ingredients until it's one consistency and this is what it should look like. Next we're going to add 20 grams of olive oil and crack in one egg at room temperature. Look how beautifully this yeast is activated. You've got lots and lots of bubbles. And now we're going to add it to our bowl. We're going to fully combine until you have one consistency and your dough is all one color. And now you have a sticky dough ball. Next, we're going to run your dough through a food processor with your blade attached and on the first setting for seven minutes. You can also do this with your mixing machine using a dough hook. This is going to combine the glutens into the bread and your dough will become stretchy like normal bread dough, like this. And now we're just gonna shape this into a ball. I'm just coating my bowl with a half a teaspoon of olive oil and I've chosen a bowl with a relatively flat surface because my bread is going to take this shape. Add the dough ball into your bowl, cover and let it rest for an hour. While your bread is resting, set your oven to 122 degrees Fahrenheit or 50 degrees Celsius. And after an hour, look how beautifully your dough has risen. Now you're going to slice into your dough three times and I'm going to add some pumpkin seeds or pepitos and you can add also things like you know a few chia seeds or sesame seeds if you have those on hand. Now bake your bread in the oven for one hour. We are not baking the bread as such, we are allowing the glutens and the yeast to warm up so your bread can swell. Now turn your oven temperature up to 356 Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius. And here is the beautiful loaf fresh out the oven. My bread has cooled now and it's high and beautiful and it's got the authentic sound of homemade bread. Well, I hope I've given you all the information so you can have success at home making this beautiful keto bread. If you have any questions, please drop me a comment down below or even just say hi. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and be well.